right, time for some second-hand heroes. Used cars we think you should consider if buying on a budget. This time we've picked three cars that not only offer oodles of entertainment behind the wheel, but also offer plenty of attention. Stand by for our standout from the crowd, sports cars. My first choice proves that good things come in small packages. It's got a tiny turbo and rear-wheel drive. The Suzuki Cappuccino, now available from just £2,000. Under the bonnet is a 657cc engine and it produces 63 brake horsepower. But the whole car weighs just 679 kilograms. Hit the go faster pedal and you'll go as far as 100 miles an hour. It's a very simple layout. Let's not forget this car is 20 years old, but it's quite practical too, because when you take the roof off, it does store in the boot, but then you can't really take anything else on board. It's a very cute car, not only to look at, but also to drive. There's nothing complicated about it. The little cappuccino might be relatively simple, but there are still things to check out before parting with your hard-earned cash. The oil needs changing every 3,000 miles. And if the previous owner hasn't done that, then you'll hear a whining noise from the turbo. You'll be whining too when you buy a replacement for £2,000. But the biggest issue is rust, particularly on the floor pan, sills and wheel arches. And check behind any plastic panels as they may also be hiding serious rot. The Suzuki offers pint-sized thrills for pint-sized money, but if your budget stretches to £7,000, you could buy some serious velocity in the shape of Vauxhall's Angular VX220. This car comes from a time when Vauxhall owns Lotus. Vauxhall took the Lotus Elise chassis and stuck one of their own engines in it, a 2.2-litre with 145 brake horsepower. The lightweight aluminium tub helps this car reach 60 miles an hour in 5.6 seconds. Now, a little bit later on, Vauxhall introduced a turbocharged version with a slightly smaller engine at 2 litres, but with 197 brake horsepower. And that hits 60 miles an hour about a second quicker. If you like your motoring to be quiet and serene, this is not the car for you. While it might have a Vauxhall badge, the VX220 shares little with cheap-to-run models like the Astra or Corsa, so you'll need a keen eye to avoid disaster. When you're accelerating, listen for any knocking from the rear. It could be that the side engine mounts are failing. That is a common problem, and it'll cost you £300 to repair. Also, check the expansion tank for coolant. They're known to crack and drain the fluid. It's just £60 to fix, but ignore it and you could be facing an engine rebuild. My final choice is for those who want the ultimate in stripped-down sports car rarity, the Renault Sport Spider, now from £18,000. I must be mad! Back in the 1990s, Renault took the engine from the Clio Williams, a 2-litre, 148 brake horsepower number, and created the Spider with it, a purpose-built sports car for a one-make racing series. Because it was built for the track, it misses out on a few creature comforts. When I say few, I mean all. It's got no power steering, no exterior door handles, no side windows, no stereo, no heater, no roof. But the 96 UK spec models do have one optional extra fitted, a windscreen. However, on the right day, the Spider will give you race car thrills on the road, and its rarity is now pushing prices up. But as ever, you must buy wisely. If the steering wanders about a bit, it could mean that the suspension needs looking at. New dampers are £180 a pair. Finally, body parts are now getting tricky to source. For example, if there's a crack in the UK spec windscreen, expect a £1,000 fissure in your bank account. So there you have it, three great second-hand heroes. Choose carefully and you'll be sure to stand out from the crowd. Stop, uh, good. Oh, well done.
Christ, get a stop, get a stop, get a stop. Better oh. track than Campbell Park to sort out the men from the boys.